what is up welcome to my channel for new or welcome back to my channel in this video i'm doing my boxycharm versus ipsy unboxing for you guys it is a little late i get my boxycharm usually between the 10th and the 13th of the month and my ipsy always comes literally between like the 18th and the 20th so it comes late that's why these videos are out more towards the end of the month which kind of sucks but it's whatever at least I'm getting them, you know. I'm super excited. I did already do my makeup, so I'm not going to be getting to do a review, I guess, and talk about each product more in depth as far as my opinion because I didn't I didn't pre-open these packages and do my makeup and then make this video like I did in the last one. If you like my hair, I just did a video on this wave barrel thing that creates these waves. I honestly don't know what to call it. If you want to see that video, like I said, in the cards at the end screen. And I guess if you want to see what I got in this month's BoxyCharm and Ipsy, then just keep watching. Like always, we're going to start with BoxyCharm. And like I said, I have not opened this box. So I'm super excited to see what I got. That is what it looks like on the inside when you open it. I'm kind of seeing something shiny. Why does... I guess the rest of the stuff is underneath. It seems to be like an outdoorsy theme. Um, it says spa, glamping, sunbathe, yoga, summer, and it has like s'mores, it's outside, it's super cute. So more of an outside summery thing. And then on the back, again, it lists all the products, the pricing, description, things like that. So it's super helpful in knowing what you're getting, what it is exactly, and how much it's worth. So the first thing I'm pulling out is this Milk Makeup. Push Fiber Brow Gel. Okay, that's awesome because I've been needing a new one. I've been using this sample one for like ever and I'm kind of over it. Um, and I think it's pretty dried out. Packaging's really cute. It's like, oh, did you see that bug? Holy crap. Um, so this is the packaging. I really like the shape of it. I have the color Herb, obviously. Still a pretty small size, but I mean, I'll take it. I've been needing a new one anyway. Do you see this bug? <laughs> I've heard really good things about Milk Makeup, and I believe the only time I ever tried it was whenever I used to get the small 10, what is it now, $12 a month Ipsy bags. Um, back when it was 10, I think I received like a, like the blush stick slash lip gloss type of thing. I think that's all I received from them. But I did throw it away. I didn't care for it. I have heard great things about them. And I think I, I received that maybe like three or four years ago. So I'll go ahead and put some on even though I have that crusty one on. Okay. I, for some reason I was thinking the applicator was going to be way bigger than this. So we're just going to... Okay. It is a lighter brown. A little bit lighter brown. But it's okay. You can throw in some brow highlights, it's fine. I don't know if you can tell where I added it, but yeah, I don't know. A tinted vegan brow gel formulated with thickening heart-shaped fibers and a conditioning hemp derived cannabis seed oil for long lasting fullness, shape, and definition. So that's cool. This retails for $20, so already at $20 in the box. So the next thing I'm pulling out is the Anesthetica Sunset Bronzer. This is a pretty goldish summery packaging. Definitely cute for bronzer. It's just very simple, basic packaging. And then you open it up and it's just a bronzer. So super nice. I love, I love the color of it. Hopefully it's not too light for my skin. So we will see. Maybe it's I don't know. I guess we'll see. I might have to give it to somebody who's way lighter than me. But anyway, the Anesthetica Sunset Bronzer is the perfect shade of amber to bestow a beachy glow without even stepping foot on the sand. This retails for $24. So what is that? $44? I don't know. I can't do math. So I can probably use it more in the fall and the winter. So maybe I won't give that away. Oh, I got a Violet Voss Essential 2 Essentials 2 palette. I got the... Actually, Violet Voss, it's the rainbow palette, I believe. Oops. So, that is the palette. Okay. I think my favorite shade is this gold color right here. 
the rest of it I'm not too crazy about. I'm not going to lie. I do want to see what that gold shade is looking like. Mm, honestly, not what I was expecting. It's like got a purpley tint to it. If you can see that. It's pretty, but it's definitely not what I was expecting. Which, the palette I received before this was super pigmented. So, I don't think I'll be disappointed with the pigmentation and the application of it. I'm just not crazy about the bottom row. Especially the two purples. I love purples. Purple was one of the colors in my wedding. But, I just don't like how similar they are, if that makes sense. Like, obviously that one's darker, but I wish they could have thrown, like, another color. Um, I definitely love the top row. I will use that more than the bottom row. Blues, I'm not crazy about blues. I, I mentioned in other videos, blues just kind of scare me to work with. I don't know. I kind of wish they would get rid of that blue and, I don't know, one of the purples and added two other different shades. But, I mean, other than that, the palette itself is really pretty. And as far as, like I said, application and pigmentation, I know it's going to be pretty good. Violet Boss Essentials 2 palette. These 10 eyeshadow pans of pure bliss provide all the everyday hues you need to create your go-to soft glam as well as the vivid pops of color to liven up your look. This palette retails for $36. Honestly, for $36, I definitely wouldn't go out of my way to purchase this. It's just not something that catches my eye enough to spend that kind of money on. This box so far isn't a dud, but it's definitely, I've had better boxes so far. Anyway, moving on, the next pro product I'm seeing that was untwisted, I don't know how I feel about that, is the Glam Glow Moisture Trip Omega Rich Moisturizer. I do remember seeing this in a sneak peek, but I don't remember if this is what I was hoping to get or if I was hoping to get something else. It says apply evenly to clean face and neck morning and or night as part of your usual skincare regimen. So this is what it looks like. For some reason it reminds me of like a cannabis product. Maybe it's like the green color. I don't know. Is that weird? It's like this green product. The Glam Glow Omega Rich Face Moisturizer is a lightweight anti-redness moisturizer with Omega Rich Cannabis Sativia seed oil that helps calm irritation, relieve visible redness, and optimize skin's barrier defenses against environmental assault. So I was kind of right about the cannabis. To me, it just looks like a cannabis product. Wow, this retails for $54. That's so far the most expensive thing in the box. And the next thing that I'm pulling out is this Best Bud Sugar Rush by Tarte Lip Butter Balm. So it's actually pretty cute packaging. That is the shade Peony. I actually had that upside down the first time I was right. Whenever you open it, it's a diamond. How cute. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's... This is probably the most exciting so far. I really love this packaging. Look at that. That is adorable. I don't know why the, t the tops on my stuff is not screwed on right, but it doesn't look like anybody's touched it. It smells really good. If I didn't have on lipstick right now, I'd definitely put some on. That is the cutest little thing I've ever seen. I'll definitely use this. This is probably my most exciting and favorite product I've received in the box right now. So, and it's the last product. With this hydrating butter lip balm, your lips will look as good as your perfectly curated Instagram feed. My Instagram sucks right now. I want to recreate it. Hopefully my lips will look better than that. But this product retails for 12 bucks. So definitely the cheapest product I've received but the cutest and probably my favorite. And it smells pretty good. And we'll just go ahead and move on to Ipsy. This month I got it in a bag and it feels like my products are just in there, like there's no box in the bag, but the bag's actually really cute. But it is plastic so it's pretty wasteful. The boxes I feel like were a little bit more better for the environment. Probably a lot more better. Oh, but it came in a bag. Oh, okay, these are so cute. And it's glittery. Holy cow. This is my favorite Ipsy bag I've ever received. That is so cute. I didn't get a card and yeah, I did get a card, but it doesn't say this stuff. Okay. Anyway, it says build your perfect bag. September 1st through September 3rd. Save the date. Now, thanks to the ultra personalization, you can build your perfect bag on the first of every month. Don't miss out on these amazing features. So I'll have to remember that. Opening up the bag, the first thing I'm pulling out is this bestsellers kit by billion dollar brows so i got a little brow kit that is super cute i do remember seeing this in my email 
This brush is really nice. Holy cow. Take this brush out. This is like a really nice brush. It's a brow gel. We put some on so I'm not even going to try it. And then here is a concealer and highlighter. Um, what's what? I guess this ends concealer and this ends highlighter. I didn't put on any brow highlighter, so maybe I'll go ahead and add that on real quick. How cute is that? And then we have this universal brow pencil. Mm, it's pretty soft. But it is buildable, so the more you scribble it on, the darker it gets. Next thing I'm pulling out is this Better Bean Clean Face Coffee Cleanser by Cali... Cali C? I don't know how... I don't know what they're called. Cali C? Something like that. But it is a face coffee scrub. It smells like toothpaste if we're being honest. I'm really excited to use this and hopefully I will keep you guys up to date and let you know. The next thing I'm playing out, we're going through this one fast. Hooded Beauty, I've never received anything from Hooded Beauty. This is really pretty, super cute. I've seen reviews and heard good things about Hooded Beauty so I'm super excited to try it. I've never bought from them either. I've never gotten anything in an Ipsy or a BoxyCharm before. So this is my first time ever, ever trying this product which probably will be in an upcoming video because I'm kind of anxious to do another makeup tutorial soon. Here it is, close and it's glory. Getting it up. I love like the ombre, like the, the mauve pink up to the black. It's so pretty, so nice. Mm, it smells good. Okay. Ooh, I love that color. Now that we're getting closer to fall. Oh my gosh so excited it's a little bit darker than what i thought it's definitely pretty though and i definitely will use it and moving on the next thing i'm pulling out is this realer i am amazing 24 hour eyeliner on the side it says cruelty free paraben free infused with love waterproof smudge proof and long wear so that's what it says on the side and then that is the front Oh, it's, oh, I love these. I've actually, I was actually just thinking I needed one today because I used potted eyeliner by L'Oreal, I think, to do my waterline. I was like, I really need to get another just basic eyeliner. I love that these you can like twist up. That is the eyeliner. I'm so excited about this. It's nice matte black. I don't know if you can see that. I believe it's the last product. And it is the Ciate London Watermelon Burst Setting Powder. Oh, this is so cute. This is the cutest little packaging, I swear. And I love Ciate London. I've received quite a few products from them, and I absolutely love them. It smells just like watermelon. Oh, this is so cute. It even looks like watermelon, like just the white watermelon, like the seeds and stuff. I really did like my Ipsy. I liked it way better than my BoxyCharm, which means that Ipsy won for the month. I'm actually way more excited with everything I got my Ipsy than I am BoxyCharm. The only thing I was really super excited about was the lip balm. I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will have these boxes linked down below if you want to go check it out. For BoxyCharm, I do have the base box, the $25 a month box. For Ipsy, I believe it's the 1UP. It's $25 a month as well. With that being said, if you don't, Follow me on my social media at katefrancis24. Go do that now. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and want to see more. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.